check this out. We're gonna take this piece of copper that we printed on our Mark Forged Metal X, we're gonna charge it with electricity, and we're gonna plunge it into this piece of A286 stainless steel. We used to use this process all the time when building injection molds, and we always had to CNC machine our electrodes perfectly. But now, with our Mark Forged Metal X, we can print them unattended. Let's get into it. Now that our part is finished printing, we are left with what we call a green part or a part that needs to be washed and centered. To do that, we first weigh our green part and input the weight into Iger, and then Iger will tell us how long to wash our part for. The wash uses an Option SF79 solvent that is boiled to accelerate the washing process. It chemically debinds the wax from our part to prepare it to be centered. After the washing process is finished and the wax has been removed from our part, we can now load it into our center furnace. Now the center furnace is going to fuse our copper together and complete our part. Alright guys, so our centering run is finished. This was the final step of our process. Our furnace has successfully baked out all that wax and polymer matrix and it fused our part together to give us a pure copper electrode. Alright, so we centered both of our parts and the cool thing about this process is you can center a variety of different parts in a single run. So now we're going to take this, and we're going to take it over to our Ona Iris 6 and we're going to burn it into a piece of A286 stainless steel. So let's go do that. You've seen us cut through parts on our wire EDM, now you're going to see us burn blind pockets on our sinker EDM. our burn, our electrode isn't actually contacting our workpiece. Instead, when it gets close enough and the correct voltage is applied, a spark is going to jump the gap between our electrode and the part, and it's going to burn our material away. Typically, you would come back in and finish this pocket with finishing electrodes, but we wanted to test the 3D printed electrode's durability during a roughing application. And honestly, it's performing better than I expected. I'm really pleased with this copper 3D printed electrode. Alright guys, so our burn is finished. I was always really curious about 3D printing, roughing electrodes out of copper on our Metal X. We put it to the test and now we know that it works. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Don't forget to like and subscribe and we'll see you guys next time.